What's going on, you fiddlers? Nick Daniels here, coming at you live yet again. And today, man, we're looking at the Scout dating app uh, in 2022. Stick around to find out more. How you doing? All right. So anyway, Scout 2022. Um, not really going to be my favorite dating app that I'd recommend, but we're going to dive right into it uh, without any further ado. So let's let's do that. So in this video, what we're talking about is the account setup, the payment system, the features of the app, like filters, uh, profile setting up, you know, the cash that they have. Um, and we might have to do a part two um, shortly after this because I just want to investigate a little bit further on a few items. But without any further ado, let's dive right into those. So the initial account setup is pretty straightforward in this app. Uh, I will say that the UI, so the user interface, looks really, um, I would say outdated would probably be the best I could come up with. Uh, it's just something about it looks a little like robust. It just doesn't look as clean and sharp as something like other apps, like say Bumble, Tinder, or Hinge. Um, and you notice, you kind of notice it right away. Um, so yeah, basic account setup. Um, you know, there's a there's a, a tab if you can say like who checked you out, uh, which I think is fine. You can kind of see who viewed you, and it's interesting that you just get full access to that. I just like don't mind this. Um, of course, naturally, there's no way to delete the account in the app. It's you know the website and all that crap. We don't need to go back into that too much. Um, they've got some uh, a feedback option which I thought was really interesting. So when you click on that, it'll just pop up an email and it'll actually give you an email address to email your feedback about the app, which we did. Um, and I'll have it just in the bottom corner there, but we're going to come back to that in just a moment. Um, and of course, a safety tab, which I do like. I do like when the safety tab's an option uh, because it just gives you some general, you know, do's and don'ts of online dating that most people probably know because it's common sense, but you know, not everybody knows it. Um, so regarding the tabs in the dating app, so what I, I, I call the tabs, but the tabs at the bottom of your screen, you're going to have a few. And, and the first one is the, uh, like the meet me tab, uh, or like the meet tab. Um, and that's just meeting people. Now you're going to see a recurring issue in this app. And this is probably the biggest issue, or what I would actually say the biggest issue is there's no filtering system. There's none. And that means you can't filter age, you can't filter distance, you can't filter anything. Male, female, nothing. And, and if it is there, I haven't found it. I have not been able to locate where on earth this thing is. Uh, and it's very frustrating. So that's a big thing. So what happens is in the meet tab, is your, or in the meet me tab, is you can actually just message people. Free Willy. There's no, I have not bumped into a paywall, but I only messaged like three people. Um, so I could message them with no problem, no, no currencies, nothing. I could just message them. Um, you can like their profile for some reason. I, I don't, I don't know what that gets. Um, you can favorite them. Okay. Um, and of course, like I said, um, you can just message anybody. So I'm surprised again that you can just do that. Uh, but it'll just show anybody in that list. Um, and you can see like if they're online or not, which is, I guess, fine. That's okay. Um, so they have a live streaming tab, just like a lot of these other apps, they all link together. So like meet me, you know, plenty of fish. They're all, they're all in there together and you, you live stream together on those apps. Um, so this is actually where you can have like your favorites, like your favorite streamers. You can have like your fans will have like a tab of people who are following you. Uh, diamonds are apparently some gift of currency. Um, and you can gift those to a streamer and they like rank those as like how well they're doing, like how many diamonds they have, which I'm assuming is by their points system, which we'll talk about here in a moment. Um, and I'm just looking over here cause I've actually got the, uh, I've got my notepad over here, my, uh, my one note. I'll fill that. I'll put it this way. Maybe it'll be a little better. Um, of course, you could watch other people stream. I'll, I'll have some footage or something on the screen about this. Um, yeah, you can watch other people stream and you can stream yourself, which I've also done on other dating apps. So I'm not going to really go back through and do that. Uh, but on like, say, Plenty of Fish and Meet Me, I do have those videos and hopefully I'll remember to overlay them properly. I've been doing good. I've been doing good on that. Um, so for the chats, there's not much to mention about, except that the, the Scout like default, you know, like when you join like plenty of fish or something, it's like, Oh, message from plenty of fish. Like, you know, and it's whatever. Um, I've been getting those, uh, consistently. I've got like, I've got a bunch of them and it's just like scout being like, Oh, there's a new promo or, Oh, check this out or new singles in your area. I hate that crap. So that's kind of annoying. 
Um, so for the match tab, that's actually like saying yes or no to a profile. Uh, I noticed when I was going through that I was getting a lot of just uninteresting profiles that obviously were some fake to some degree. No profile picture, really blurry pictures like, you know, that just clearly didn't look good. Um, and it's just kind of surprising. Um, every single time I would go through like three profiles or four tops, I would get an ad and the ad would come right on the screen and would actually be like a video. Like it would actually be like scrolling through something or showing something and you have to exit, you have to stop, exit out of it and then go back. Um, and it's very intrusive. Um, and we'll get to why that is in a moment. Um, so there, again, no filters of any kind. So men and women were coming up all ages, all distances, everything. Um, really not that good and really not that useful. Naturally, you got to pay to see if someone's liked you on there, but I don't get the point of that system. If you can just go in like in the meet me one there and just like be like, okay, cool. Who's in my area and just message them. Uh, but again, you can't tell if they're in your area because I was getting people that were hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of kilometers away that I would never meet. Someone was like 58 that was in my thing. Like, I just don't understand. Um, so naturally we're going to talk about the premium. Uh, sorry, we're running through this one a little quicker, but I do want to make these videos not like 20 minutes. Um, the premium is interesting. So a notice came on and it, and when I looked in their kind of, not their fine print, but something like that, and it said they want to be charged to an iTunes account. So anyway, what you get with premium, you get two things. You get no advertisements and you get to see who like, who's liked you. That's got to be the biggest joke I've ever heard of. Like at least like Bumble or something is like, oh, unlimited likes, you know, something like to almost, almost make you want to pay that money. Um, so that's very interesting to me that you just get two options and that's it. I will say the ads are very intrusive. They're all over the screen. They're on the bottom. They're on the top. They're everywhere. You see them everywhere. They're in the middle of the screen when you're swiping. Very frustrating. But I don't think I would pay. I, I know, actually, that I wouldn't pay money um, for that. Uh, anyway, here we go. $13.99 is for one month, and it auto-renews for all of the options that we'll be mentioning. Um, unless you cancel. So if you don't cancel within 24 hours of it auto-renewing, like, at, like say, the end of the, the month or whatever, you will be automatically charged again. Um, $34.99 for three months, which is $11.66 a month, and $99.99 for 12 months. I'm actually not going to lie. Those aren't terrible prices. But the problem is, is in my opinion, you, ha you get no value by buying that. None. Um, even some of the apps that give you, like, the filters, you know, which I think is horrendous. But, like, filters or, like, unlimited likes or, oh, you'll get more matches or a crush or something. They're offering something right? They try to make it worth it by like rhyming in like 50 things that don't make any sense. But at least there's something there. This is two things. I just don't understand how anyone would pay $99.99 for this app to get two things. Okay. So there's points. Now the points, are, if I'm correct, are used in like the live streaming more or less for like gifts, diamonds, that kind of thing. I'll, I'll, I'm going to go away for about two, three minutes. I'm going to double check and then come back uh, because I really want to know. So bear with me here for one minute. Okay, so that's enough of that. Uh, we just did the research there. Sorry, that took like literally two minutes and I just died a little inside. Um, so final, the final point of the video we're going to talk about is the point system. Um, so what it works out to is their, their kind of credit system. And it's 500 points for $6.99. 1800 for 2099 their most popular 3200 for 3499 and then 14500 points very big jump uh at 139.99 now i know you're asking what are the points used for now i haven't found all all the reasons of what these points are used for i'm sure there's more but i did dig into the live streaming and in the bottom there's a little gift icon of someone's live stream and you can gift things to them some of them are like five coins or something like that that's nothing right 500 you know the 500 for seven bucks you wouldn't even notice it and there was others that were 20 over 20,000 then there was like 300,000 um you know so I, I i just don't understand but it seems that you can actually like watch videos on there and get these gifts, um, you know, and then you like level up apparently, um, which I think is hilarious. And then you can give like better gifts to these people. Um, and I see, and I don't know if they can redeem anything. They probably can to make some money, like with the diamonds and stuff. 
Uh, but it seems just really ridiculous, and I didn't see much of another purpose on there to use the coins. Um, so that might actually be it. I don't, I don't really know, and I don't really want to find out any more than that. Uh, what I actually recommend... I guess this really is the thing at the end of the day. Would I recommend Scout? No. Hell no. Um, it's just... It looks really outdated. It's got a paywall that just doesn't really make any sense for what it is, and it just doesn't really offer anything at all that would entice me to go, hey, I'm going to get that. Uh, yeah, so overall, I think it's kind of a stinker, and I think you should, uh, you know, move on to something a little bit better. I don't know. Let me know. Take it easy, everybody. Nick Daniels. Peace.